Okay, so we're gonna, I'm gonna talk you through crossing the swamp today, children. Um, and it's a really fun game that I've really enjoyed playing and I've played with um, the children in the schools that I've taught at in the past as well and they've liked it. So you'll teach them to set up a swamp area um, outside and they will have scattered loads of equipment on the floor. So it might be bean bags, hoops, spots, cones, could be lots of different things. Um, you're gonna work in partners for this, but you need to maintain your two meter distance at any one time. And what you're going to do is one of you is going to be blindfolded. Now, your school may have sorted out some blindfolds for you to use, or it could be that you're using your jumper to tie across. Please don't share whatever you're tying around as your blindfold with anybody else. OK, so you can only, you're the only person that can use that. Now, the partner in your group that's not blindfolded is going to be the guide. And we will swap roles, so you'll get lots of um, time to, to have a go at being blindfolded and being the guide. But your job as the guide is you've got to give them nice, clear instructions to, to get your partner across the swamp safely and to the end cone, which your teacher will point out to you. So it could be that you're working with the yellow cone. So your start cone would be the yellow and it would be the other yellow cone, the other side of the swamp. Please be clear of your instructions because the person with the blindfold cannot see. So it could be that you were asked to walk, um, take the little steps forward and then you might say stop. OK, and then it might be that they need to step over one of the mounds in the swamp, so that, which could be a cone. So you might ask them to lift their leg really high and reach forward and balance. And then you might say you can, it's safe to put your foot down. So there's lots and lots of different instructions that you can give, but I'm sure you're going to be amazing at this. Um, listen to your teacher and the key skills you need to listen to your guide. OK, you're not allowed to touch your partner who is blindfolded as a guide. You must make sure that you are a good, safe distance away. And if you could see that they're about to touch a piece of equipment that's in the swamp, then it might be a good idea to say stop nice and clearly. And or you might have a key word that you use for stop. If you are blindfolded and you do touch one of the pieces of equipment, then you need to do a bit of a forfeit, OK? And your forfeit will be chosen by your teacher. So it could be that you just have to do five jumps where you are on the spot. So if you've touched the equipment, my guy would say, you've touched the equipment, you need to stop and do your forfeit. So I would do five jumps on the spot and then I can carry on. Um, give it your best. It is going to be very tricky and you need to use your listening skills to try and help you with this activity.